I'm Annie. My friends Karna and Lester have invited me to prepare one of my favorite dinners for you. I'll be cooking a teriyaki stir-fry with seitan and broccoli. For this recipe, we're going to use 8 ounces of wheat gluten, seitan, traditionally flavored, some ginger, about 8 ounces of mushrooms, about half a cup of toasted slivered almonds, 3 stalks of broccoli, and about a cup of snap peas. We'll be cooking with seitan tonight. Seitan is made from wheat gluten and is very high in protein. It has a great taste and a texture very similar to meat. Even my son likes it. I like to de-string the snap peas before I put them in the dish. And I just do this one end and then the other. I don't put the, the stalks in this dish, but I like to save them for soup later. And so I take the thick bottom part and discard that and then peel the outer tough part of the skin off of the broccoli and then just chop it up in small pieces and put it in a bag in the freezer to make soup later. First I will make a teriyaki marinade and these are the ingredients. Use a one quarter cup of tamari sauce, one quarter cup of dry cooking sherry, one tablespoon of safflower oil, two teaspoons of chopped ginger, one clove of garlic, a teaspoon of sweetener, this is uh, uh, raw sugar, and this is the final product when you mix them all together. For the second part of the sauce, I make a vegetable broth with one cup of warm or hot water and one teaspoon of vegetable broth. I use the low sodium variety. To thicken the sauce, I use one quarter cup of water and two tablespoons approximately of cornstarch. And you could use arrowroot. Stir fry the ginger in hot oil. Add the seitan and cook until slightly browned. Then add your mushrooms and cook for two minutes. Add a little bit more oil. Add your broccoli and cook until the broccoli is a bright green color. Then add the snap peas, your teriyaki sauce. Cook until hot. Then add the vegetable broth and your sliver of ginger. Stir, cover, and Cook until boiling, then add your cornstarch and cook until thick. Serve over brown rice and garnish with your toasted slivered almonds.